Don't do it. Bah oui, I told you not to do it. There we go, oh my god, get shit on Vare. Hello wonderful people, Valentin here, welcome into today's video. We're going to be re-reviewing the Axe of Godfrey, which got a buff in, which is the above to its Ash of War regal roll extend the effect duration went from 40 seconds to 60 seconds the same as all the rolls like barbaric roll, war cry, all that got buffed to 60 seconds for the time it lasts reduce the time between strong attacks while under the effect so the strong attacks comes out much 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 more faster and reduce the time between the skill like the activation and being able to perform action so now right after you do the ash of war you're able to roll out but what does the ash of war do that's one thing let loose a mighty war cry raising attack power while sending out a shockwave that cannot be guarded against by stomping the ground while active strong attack becomes lunging attack so you basically switch your move set you change your move set when when you have it active you have an increase into your AR so you have an increase in physical strength physical damage which is of 7.5% you also have plus 5 strength scaling um, so now talking about what it does is it good is the buff significant yeah it definitely makes this weapon much better it's a good option in order to be using the axe of Godfrey however 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 it's still very telegraphic although it comes out quite fast if you happen to hit people with it you will true combo the first R1 the all this R2 is just one input one input comes out with two attack you can also bait people you do your first attack and then you charge the other one or you just let go for another r2 so people can think you can make people used to you just spamming r2 and then when they don't expect it you go for a follow-up r2 that's something that can be really used um the ash of war itself i would not recommend uh using it at someone's face because people can just jump over it in order to counter you they can jump over it and you know uh jumping attack you so that's one thing um, but it's still very slow against any reactive type of player, passive type of player, which is using, you know, a thrusting sword, a heavy thrusting sword, or anything that's a bit faster than what you have, which is probably like 90% of the weapon in the game, you will get beaten. You will get shit on because it, it, people can just attack and roll very easily, even on reaction. Um, the other thing I did was I pairing it with the heavy, with the Highland Axe, which which is giving you a buff to your to all the roar type of attacks so you do have an extra damage buff on your R2s once you have the Highland Axe equipped on you so on your side pocket on your left hand I put also this roar on it in order to have some range attack and also the idea is to mix it up and have some um, some options in order to you know surprise people and attack them with a bit of a faster weapon than just the Axe of Godfrey which is very very slow my final opinion on this weapon and the buff that was done to it it's good but it's still not enough if you use any colossal weapon i'm thinking about the colossal sword you have a plethora of options you could use to make the weapon better i think stomp sweep and stomp uh, swipe are better in my opinion you have also wave of darkness which is very good you have giant hunt which is amazing so you have a bunch of Ashes of War that you could use uh, rather than the Axe of Godfrey because the move set besides the R that's the other problem of this weapon is that besides the R2 you don't have much option you know to attack your opponent you have the crutch R1 which is quite good but still honestly not too too great a bit disappointing however it was ton of fun but when it was not fun when I was fighting some people using some annoying setup with thrusting sword or bloodhound step and stuff like that but without out of the way thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment let me know how you would buff this weapon or what is maybe missing to this build uh just to talk about the build yeah quickly it's just your standard uh strength build with a lot of endurance in order to reach our breakpoint of about 88 poise and wearing the bull gold talisman with my favorite fashion I also have the Crimson Amber Medallion and the Ritual Sword Talisman, also with the Raw Medallion, I talked about it already. And once I'm getting hit, I switch the Crimson Amber for the Gra Dragon Crest Shield and the Ritual Sword Talisman for the Blessed You Talisman. And once I'm very low, I'm switching the Blessed You Talisman. I'm switching usually the Dragon Crest Shield for the Blue Feather Branch Sword, in order to have more defense when you're about to die. And uh, that's about it, thank you guys so much again. I love you guys, it was Valentin, and I see you in the next video. Bye bye! What do you have? Wait, wait, I'm not ready. Alright, I'm ready, let's go.
it's gonna hurt. I can feel it. That hurts. Yeah, the second or two was kind of a mistake. Very careful, I'll have to take back my stamina here. Since I got hit, let's switch our rings. I don't really want to trade with... No, I can trade with that though. Oh, he's one shot. Well played, GG. Hello there, you're maidenless. <laughs> Love the name. And it's a Vare cosplay. It's gonna hurt. It's probably gonna use a lot of uh, arcane spell and yeah, there it is. It's already starting. <laughs> I told you guys. I can feel these guys. I know them. No hit there. Because since he damaged me already, let's switch back to this. There we go. You're losing this trade, buddy. Oh. To be an annoying piece of shit. Yep. Mm, let's switch to that. Nice, good roll catch. Let me reapply my little buffy. Don't stay in front of me, you will pay the price. I'm almost bled it out, gotta be very careful. There we go, the Get out of me. Get out of me, you freak. I'm fat rolling, this is not good. Uh, not good at all. Let's get rid of. No, I need the X. Give me the X. Okay, I have the X. There we go, oh my god, get shit on Vare. Brrr. 